हेलो एवरीवन आई एम सिद्धार्थ किकिंग थिंग्स ऑफ दिस न्यू ईयर विद द वीवो वी ट्वेंटी थ्री प्रो नाउ द वीवो वी सीरीज इज इंट पर्टिकुलरली पॉपुलर बट द कंपनी वांट्स टू चेंज दैट विद द न्यू वी ट्वेंटी थ्री प्रो दैट जस्ट लॉन्च इन इंडिया द वीवो वी ट्वेंटी थ्री प्रो ब्रिंग्स सॉलिड अपग्रेड्स टू द वी सीरीज विद डेमेंसिटी ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड चिप नाइनटी हर्ड्स रिफ्रेश रेट एमोलेट डिस्प्ले हंड्रेड एंड एट मेगा पिक्सल मेन कैमरा फिफ्टी मेगा पिक्सल प्राइमरी एंड एन एट मेगा पिक्सल अल्ट्रा वाइट सेल्फी कैमरा अलॉन्ग विद फोर्टी फोर वॉट फास्ट चार्जिंग सपोर्ट but what separates the vivo v23 pro from all the other phones is its back panel which changes colors on being exposed to sunlight or uv light the rear panel uses color changing fluorite ag glass which transforms from golden to shades of cyan it's a neat trick but you do need to hold the phone in sunlight for it to be able to change its color like a chameleon The build and design of this phone is pretty solid. It's slim and lightweight, measuring 7.4 mm and weighing 171 grams. It fits comfortably in your hand and you can use it or game on it for hours before straining your hands. The back of the phone has a large camera module that houses three sensors along with a LED flash and has curved edges that seamlessly transition into the curved display on the front. Since it's so slim, you can put a case on for more grip without spoiling the looks. The Vivo V23 Pro is powered by the MediaTek Dimensity 1200 chip which has an octa-core CPU paired with up to 12 GB RAM and 256 GB storage. It runs on FunTouch OS 12 which is based on Android 12. We have previously seen the Dimensity 1200 SoC on phones like the OnePlus Nord 2 and Oppo Reno6 Pro to name a few. In our test, the V23 Pro raked in numbers similar to other Dimensity 1200 phones. The performance of this phone remained great in day-to-day -day use and the FunTouch OS remained as snappy as ever. There is a game boost mode that optimizes frame rate stability allowing you to game on it at a stretch. In Antutu test, the Vivo V23 Pro got marginally better scores over the Nord 2 and Reno6 Pro which is good. In a test like PC Mark Work which grades the performance of a phone by running browsing, video editing, photo editing and many more workloads, the Vivo V23 Pro is the charts leaving behind Nord 2 and Reno6 Pro in the dust. This proves that the V23 Pro is great at handling these tasks and more. We also ran a CPU throttling test which tests whether the CPU throttles under extreme workloads. Here, the V23 Pro throttled between 76 to 78 percent of its maximum performance, which means that it doesn't run up to its full potential for a sustained amount of time, and the system lowers down the performance to keep the thermals in check. When you consider its slim profile, it isn't too bad to spoil your experience. For testing the GPU performance, we ran 3D Mark Wildlife and GFX Bench tests, where the V23 Pro got ahead of the Nord 2 and the Reno6 Pro by a huge margin. We also played some graphic intensive games like COD Mobile, BGMI, PUBG New State and Genshin Impact to name a few. We used game bench metrics to record gameplay sessions where the V23 Pro scored 60 FPS at 100% stability on COD Mobile. Similarly, game bench recorded 59 FPS at 91% stability on Asphalt 9 while it ran at 40 FPS at 100% stability on BGMI. Now these numbers are not indicative of real world performance and in the case of V23 Pro I did not come across any lags or bugs in the general day to day performance of the phone even when playing games the V23 Pro did not show any signs of stress and was able to handle these titles with much ease the Vivo V23 Pro comes with a 4300 mAh battery that supports 44 watt fast charging Now the battery on this phone isn't extraordinary but I feel it's sufficient for most users who use their phones for texts, calls, watching videos online, listening to music and more. The battery life will take a hit if you play games on this phone for hours at a stretch, but otherwise even a casual gamer can expect a days worth of battery life from the V23 Pro. When it comes to charging, this phone took 50 minutes to charge from 0 to 100% using the 44 watt adapter. The Vivo V23 Pro has triple cameras on the back headlined by a 108 megapixel camera, an 8 megapixel ultra wide camera with a 120 degree field of view and a 2 megapixel macro camera. On the front, we get two selfie cameras in the form of a main 50 megapixel sensor followed by an 8 megapixel ultra wide camera that gives you a wider view when taking selfies. The 108 megapixel main camera creates 12 megapixel pixel bind images that look sharp and colorful. The pictures have ample details but isn't able to replicate the textures as efficiently. 
the camera also bumps up the saturation levels in different scenes and the HDR processing wasn't up to the mark sometimes. It also offers 2x digital zoom which is decent in taking some good pictures and does not compromise on details which is very important when you are going up and close to your subject. The night mode works well and Vivo has offered tons of new modes and filters for different photo styles. The ultra wide camera is average as it is an 8 megapixel sensor. The center of the frame remains sharp but the corners are blurred with minimal barrel distortion. The 2 megapixel macro camera takes decent close up shots provided it gets sufficient light. But here again the details are not that prominent and focusing on an object is more of a hit and miss affair. Coming to the selfie camera, the V23 Pro has upped the game with a 50 megapixel main selfie camera, complementing it with an 8 megapixel ultra wide camera for a wider frame so as to cover more area. The selfies from the front camera are pretty decent and you won't be disappointed with its performance. That said, the ultra wide and the macro camera on the V23 Pro are not up to the mark in my opinion. The V23 Pro features a 6.56 inch Full HD Plus AMOLED display that supports a 90Hz refresh rate. The display is curved around the edges and has a wide notch cutout for two front facing cameras. While we have adjusted to the punch hole notch cutouts, the wide notch on the V23 Pro does hinder the viewing experience as most apps do not account for such a wide notch. Otherwise, the display on the V23 Pro has good brightness levels with decent sunlight legibility. The display looks really good save for the wide notch which is a side effect of putting in two selfie cameras. Everything feels smooth on the V23 Pro, be it launching apps or switching between them, the phone is able to carry out these actions with ease. So who should buy the Vivo V23 Pro? Well, if you are someone who is looking for a new phone for under Rs 40,000, the V23 Pro is the newest kid on the block with its color changing back panel and powerful Dimensity 1200 chip that performs efficiently in day to day use. The main camera can produce some good looking images but the other two sensors need more optimization and tuning to make usable pictures. The curved display looks good and feels great in the hand but it might just take some time to get adjusted to the wide notch cutout on the top. And if your selfie game is strong, you would absolutely love the dual selfie cameras that come with the V23 Pro. At the time of producing this video, the price of the V23 Pro hasn't gone official yet. However, the rumor mill suggests that it will be priced between Rs 40 to 45,000, which means it enters the domain of affordable flagships. If the price does indeed turn out to be upwards of 40k, the question remains whether it is worth its asking price, which sadly won't be true if it breaches the 40k mark. For that kind of money, you should be sorted with phones like the iQ7 Legend or the Mi 11X Pro, which are both better and all-rounded phones. So that was our review of the Vivo V23 Pro. Let us know in the comments below if you want to know anything specific about this phone and we'll try and answer all your questions. Thanks for watching.